December mm. final number uno in the Global Clan Cup. Number three, we have America versus Long Walk uh, versus versus Germany. One versus Long Walk. Both living in Germany, so we will see them in the Meisterschaft. But who's successful now? Long Walk with an impressive run today into the semi-final. One as well, back from vacation into the final four. Let's go. We start on Last Refuge. Long Walk denied one of the creeps with the Ancient of War, so that hurts for that level two progress. Damn, son. Oh, not getting that Wispy, though. That's a detonate. The Remind Good Creep, but Long Walk taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, 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 um. Dude, the DK is coming. Uh oh. And the DK's like, lols, bro. <laughs> wait, 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 where are you going? He's realized it now. And now we can't find him anymore. Oh no, that was such an easy TP forced. But man, he can't but do anything. But he must be know where he is. He must know where he is. He can't do anything right now. Checking the corners. He's <gasps> running back. And there we go. Walking out of range. Skeleton block. Yeah, that must be TP. Level two. Ooh, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> no. Long range coil. He does see it coming. That level up though. Woo -hoo, we start with a bang. That level up indeed, man. It's always weird, kind of, right? How the level up gives you the full HP from the strength gain and not a percentage gain, depending on the how, how depending on the HP that you are. Huh. That's really because if it was if it was just percentage gain, it would be like I don't know five HP or something. Yeah. But it's always the full strength gain. Damn, Remo! I never thought about that. Twelve years in your wisdom is really adding to the stream, I must say. What were we talking about the other day? Which we shit. What was it again that we didn't know? We were both like, "Oh, I didn't know that." Uh, ah, shit! Fucking dementia brain. <laughs> We have a level 2 Demon Hunter now, of course, and 4 Archers, so Long Walk being ballsy again. DK level 2 finally with boots. Sick movement speed on this DK now. As one coil wants to make it count. One shot, one kill. Rather not. Hunter one sword. shot, one kill. <laughs> Normally at this point in the game, we'd see the Ancient of War over towards the Merc Camp. But it's just standing there right now, rooted. He's like, no, I'm good over here, bro. Just chilling. So, is it second hero Naga time? This will be the perfect time. As there is boots and there's no level 3 demon. And now it's archer hunting season. Oh man, this is so much damage. He's, is, he's not going for a surround the demon, is he? No, he's not. Archer's the way easier target. Long walk trying to counter block. But one. Save your friend syndrome. With archers, that doesn't work out. Nope. On... Fire! Double kill. Also insane. And that's two easy archer kills. Suddenly down to only two left. And these other two could also be falling. Yeah, and that's why you definitely need a Naga yourself on tier two. She comes in now, but she's pretty freaking late. And she slowed, and there's Unholy Aura. Easy chase! No coil. But still good damage. Oh, can he reach again? Oh, long range Ice Arrow. Yeah, I think she got her. Dude! Two more world so close! Oh, last arrow! Got him. Demon gets a Fiend in return, but that's of course the better trade for the undead. It is solo experience for the demon at least. But it's this? all time for the tier 3 coming in. The Lich will be coming then. And when is the tech for Long Walk going to be? One lore into tier 3. It seems like all the Night Elves agree that this is the way to play this nowadays. Yeah, and I... Uh, no, you don't agree. I'm not sure if I do. <laughs> having two Dryads out early is really nice. But also, if you delay your orb and your bears and everything, it's, it's like... There doesn't seem to be a clear answer. Whereas for Undead, this build for Undead is super strong as long as you prevent level 3 demon. As long as you prevent that, this build is super, super strong. Thank you, Bisha, for the 16-month resub. Twit tells me to hit 
Twitch tells me to hit this button, so go Todd. Thank you very much for your sub. We're gonna see him after this when Team Mom and Dad play against each other in the semifinals. You know what? The, the, the chance of a single GG in that second semifinal is like <laughs> one... Uh, 0.5%. I don't know, maybe now that they play in the 2v2, they kind of consider themselves as friends a little bit, and then they do. Like, if I play against someone on ladder that I know, the chance of me GGing there go up tremendously. Sorry I didn't GG against you earlier, Toxie, but you dirty Keeper abused, so... <laughs> I thought it's impossible to win with Keeper against Undead. Against really good Undeads, it is, yeah. I'm not one of those, I'm afraid. Don't set this stuff short. When is your show match versus Lado, by the way? I don't know. Is it actually happening? Of course! I'm going to play against Night Elf and on bad ping now. It's, it's like a zero fun game. For me, it's going to be fun. And for the viewers, that's all that counts. How good is Lado? I have no idea. I don't know either. Like, top 20 America? Well, well, well. Which will be coming out very soon. Ah. Destroyer form also coming in. When Destroyer form is finished, Creeping Merc and Red Caps is a lot easier. Speaking of Creeping Red Caps, long walk. I don't think it's very easy for him, though, is it? He's pulling out the creeps. With Riju, I guess it is. Doesn't even have all the venom, though. Ah, coming in with the wisp block. Ooh. Swag plays. Nice. Hood of Cunning. And all he got is a Hood of Cunning. Goddamn Hood of Cunning. Players' forces are under attack. So, creep check time! Oh, Demon. Taking a good bit of damage there to start things off. But there is a staff. He has a heal pot as well. Very good inventory in on Demon just in general. Did he just sell Claws of Attack? Long what? walk, do you want the entire Warcraft community to shun you? No one would have noticed, man. I know. Claws of attack soul. That's crazy. We have a pretty well equipped Lich already. Plus 20. Yeah, he's not gonna sell the claws. Nope. Or the Naga also level 3 already. He could get in close to level 4 for the micro hack. We see a lot of lion horns today. Proactive. Expansion by one. He feels very comfortable in this game. Double level three. Naga with a mana stone. Orbs ready. Close to level four. But no MG transition yet. Thank you, Storm One, for the nine month resub. Thank you. These dryad numbers concern me. As you may see, chat, it's a single one. Never mind, there comes a new one. It's two dryads now. But if these two dryads are taken out, frost armor, guys, I'm telling you, it's so strong. One focusing on the demon. I think that's absolutely the wrong target, though. It's not level four yet, so in this case, it might have been okay. Oh. Dispels the redo. That was nice. Bears are falling now. Bye bye, Fort Lightning. Good spell as well. Now we have level four demon. Mana starting to run out. Here comes one more mana burn. Stone used. This living a risky life. Fork lightning again. But man, Juan is looking so strong with his expo in the back. Oh, Fiend's dying though. Every single Fiend is gonna fall. It's not even the big health used. He wants to get rid of this item so bad. But staff again. I think Juan didn't go for the perfect focus there, but still finds quite a few kills. Level 4 comes in for the DK. Oh, nice. Coil dodge. Rough game for long walk now. 40 supply, everything hurt. Moonju is empty. 
Just hit my time. Expansion up. Narrow tower coming. It's a very strong defensive structure, I heard. <laughs> From the legendary Kevin Swain. The legendary. All he says is the truth. Thank you. I see you, Nurse Nick. For the sub and a Alex Redpage. Thank you. Lots of Prime subs coming in. Thank you, guys. Oh, bears caught in the back. Nice boss armor. But also good to spells here. Long walk. Did not forget about the abolish. Might be able to kill off one fiend. There is a coil last second using it. Mana burn. Comes in after. Dude, but everything for Long Walk is quite hurt already. Mm -hmm. Dryad should be dying very soon against that heavy damage Lich. And yeah, it's decent trades for one. He has the two base. Ooh, Lich in trouble. In wall. DK no mana anymore. Almost no damage uptime for these bears at the moment, though. Look at all that movement speed. Level 2 aura, dude. So fast. Fiends in the back just skitter scattering away. And long walk. Barely anything left. And here's the narrow. Oh, oh the lich though! Got him! That Hail Mary worked, but one with a block trying to get this DK. Is long walk. Wait, is that a TP? Oh, oh. He almost had him. He was mid animation. Long walk the madman. What the hell? Night Elves and the Hero Focus. But it's now it's just the heroes left. No, it's the two bears, one dryad expo now. Okay. This will take a lot of time until it pays off. Didn't kill all acolytes, just two. Thank you, Dwarf Lord Brando. Also for yourself. Oh, the Naga for one at the shop, trying to go for the invul. But guess what? Here comes the intercept. In this? To go for the telly staff. Oh, there's dust. You don't have much time. What are you doing? Invul uh, spam. Well, you're still stuck, though. Yeah, seven the seconds. I. Telly staff? No way. No way. That's a dead Naga. That's a big mistake by one. Double kill, man. Lich dead, Naga dead. DK solo experience, I guess. Statue sees long walk coming. Bloodthirsty American. Phil Crawford. Didn't notice how Remo learned the last name now. Impressive. Bears can't really connect, though. It's mostly the Demon Hunter fighting. How did come back by long walk, man? Yeah. Really impressive. It's pretty good plays as well. Gonna get one more fiend over here. Level 4 on the Naga. Lich close to 3 now. The demons. How does he still have the big healing, by the way? Yeah, stabs and moon juice and. Yeah. Oh, the DK almost surrounded! Whew. A bomb and fiend killed. Nothing lost. Wow. Man, long walks fights are pretty insane. Oh, the DK again in trouble. Remember, level two cold arrow plus dryads. Frost armor though, pretty good spell. Doesn't help the fiend though. Expose up. It only needs to entangle. Steam is getting closer and closer to five, and this is where the late game can swing around again. But if Juan gets to creep up more, if he gets to 5, 4, 4, then it's going to be crazy on his side again. This super late game is a lot about hero levels. And also about MGs normally, but we don't see any MGs yet. Very close game. Lich. Oh. oh. Whoa, no, that damage. Save him. Oh, no one. And now it seems to all be falling apart. Solo hero all the time. Fiend in the middle of everything. Trades it for a bear. All right. Level 5 demon hunter. Bears are in trouble. There should be a staff. There is a staff. And now... 
boy, that DK. Taking hit after hit. So is the Fiend. No Frost Armor anymore. Dude. What a machine. This long walk, dude. Three destroyers. One still close, even in supply. <laughs> Man, production is crazy. Staff is ready now. Oh, one really needs disease cloud, by the way. This would have done so much damage throughout this course, the course of this game. Oh, coil was already in the air, but mana burn. One is a little too hectic, though. He kept on fighting down a hero, down two heroes, kept on trading. Could have just turtled. Oh, you know what? And Long walk. The red without a TP. This is another a risk. Kind of. Long walk is about to have three MGs, and they come out of nowhere for one. Yeah, and MGs plus level five demon. That is the late game win condition, along with an expansion. Legion do more. Doesn't do much for the DK. It's gold, I suppose. Juan still hasn't upgraded to Disease Cloud. An absolute must at this point. Oh, yes, the Fiend and Burrow cute. And an upgrade. He prioritizes everything over Disease Cloud. I think he's just forgetting about it. This upgrade has by far the highest impact. Wagon! And Plus, disease cloud disease afterwards, cloud. yeah. This will take forever to finish, though. <laughs> okay, two I don't mind that. Two ways. It's really complicated to micro in the late game, though. You have a fiend with statues and heroes. You have a, a group, I mean, with fiends and heroes. You have a group with statues. You have a group with destroyers. And then you have another group with a wagons? Are under attack. Yeah, I guess. Oh, three destroyers. Getting some work done with the bears. Three MGs. Now we have the taunt void. Well, one bear is going to die. Double level up from that single kill. But it's another A-bomb and destroyer being lost for one. Mine supply. Wagon is out, but no disease cloud yet. What does it really do? This is halfway done. Again, one. Just in a little too deep. Demon. Would have just waited for the disease cloud, but no, he went in before. Oh man, two fiends about to die. Good burrow now, but reveal kills him immediately. Finally, the heal potion. How long had he held on to that heal potion? That staff saves the bear. Disease cloud is finally Fine. finished. It's Naga so gets late though. <sighs> you mad fortress, thank you for the 213 sub. Great work. Nice mates. You mad? Not mad at all, just happy about all this great Warcraft today. Longwalk has a shredder, he can spam upgrades. He's barely losing any units, so he's rich as hell. A thousand gold for him almost. And if he gets these bears and everything to 3 3, that's really good for him. Is that 1 1 currently? Then it's a spam. <sighs> 1100, double upgrade. 1. Man, his production queue. Five units in production now. Game's not over yet. No. Undead heroes, crazy. Level six demon hunter, also crazy. Level ups are far away for one though. Yeah, he just hit two right there with the Naga and the Lich a moment ago. But this was all before Disease Cloud. Disease Cloud is gonna start bringing in real issues for a long walk soon. And Especially during daytime, when night of units don't regenerate. Oh, attack. the wagon left behind! That's the fourth control group right there, that perhaps you don't have. Okay. Third attack upgrade coming for one. 73 supply. Oh, damage everywhere. Burrow used level 5.4 demon hunter killing that abomination, but disease is uh, not spread on the dryads. Yeah, because the wagon was lost. There's one cloud on the ground thanks to the dead A-bomb. That's actually spreading the disease right now. <laughs> that demon's getting so close to six. Naga level five, fork lightning so strong now. And the borrows only do so much. They cost 50 gold essentially to find that kill. 
There's another one. Long walk taking charge of this game. Main gold mines empty. Chimera roost ready. More defense upgrades. 3,900 for the expansion of one. Love the unit comp by Long, by the way. Three MGs, two bears, rest dryads. That's yeah. the perfect comp. 81 supply, not 100% perfect, but... All right, I will forgive him. <sighs> Tree of Eternity in this fight as well. Maybe Trevor comes in. Oh, I dodges the coil with an inbull. That could have been really scary. There's a Nova. Does he want to use it, or is it just Frost Armor? Dude, oh. no, the demon! If he gets stabbed, he's right over there! The yes. demon is about to die! Stab! He's the eternity tree! Doesn't realize! He doesn't, doesn't realize. realize! Oh my god, what a game! Naga in trouble, gets the redo, focuses the DK, bears are following! The only chance for one at this point is hero focus! Oh, yes. dodges the dodge dodge again! again. Wow. Jesus, and the lich! There's no way saving this lich! What a fight, it's unbelievable. Naga, DK, who's gonna fall? Both! No! Demon at his back! Mana burn kill! Wad is losing two heroes, GG! Wow! Surreal fights by Long Walk. Dude, I haven't seen Long Walk play in a while. I've seen him doing well and better in the tournament, so I was like, oh, this is good to see. But I didn't know he could play like that. God damn crazy! Super impressive. Oh, I'm gonna recall you because you look like shit again. Wait a second. There you go. Ho ho ho! One back from vacation, tearing it up, but here's Long Walk. Home office skills, I guess. But dude, that disease cloud. Uh. Could have been so much sooner. Uh. And Juan could have played this a lot more carefully. How often did he fight with two out of three heroes? And that Naga at the shop could have easily staffed away if he had just staffed. But no, he was too greedy and wanted the invul as well. A lot of unnecessary mistakes by Juan this game. Yeah. But, you know, all the credit to Long Walk. He played a very good game there. Mistake make for great games <laughs> of course USA chance all over long walk one step away from the grand final man that sounds surreal this is not an American qualifier for something that's where we see uh, or where we saw long walk in finals in the past WCA 2016 Oh, and Super Bowl in chat. Happy belated birthday, my friend. Happy hope, belated birthday, dude. Hope, 25. Hope you had a lot of pop punk and maple syrup. Is that a Canadian thing? Pop punk? Uh, no, but it's his thing. Hmm, I see. Doesn't he also listen to Eminem and stuff, though? A man of many tastes. I guess. <sighs> Waiting for one now. Crazy. Crazy. I'm so hungry, by the way, and I'm pretty sure I'm not getting anything. <laughs> I'm not too sure how long I can Are order. Are the places so. open until like midnight, 1 a.m.? I don't know. I have to check it out. Otherwise, I have to order something now. Put it in the fridge. Oh yeah, today's gonna be a long cast, dude. <laughs> yeah, semi-final number one, it's 9.30. So probably gonna start the grand final. Could be as late as 11, dude. What the hell? Mm -hmm. But man. Great Warcraft and late at night at two, I think, which is a little weird because today time zones flip. Uh, Dust League, so the uptime of Back to Warcraft at weekends is once again going to be crazy. 
as we start tomorrow at 1 p.m. with the yeah, WGL Pro yeah. Qualifier. One restarts his computer. Thank you, new hero. Wonderful admins. <laughs> so apparently there's coupons at McDonald's. Five euros for twenty nuggets. I used to love that in the past. Oh, man, nuggets are awesome. Wait, which which sauce do you take again? Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Sometimes curry if I feel if I feel a little crazy. Are you ever someone who mixes the sauces? Mm -mm. No, that seems like savagery, right? Yeah, but you know what I like. This might be a little weird to some people. Fries with the sweet and sour. No, I can absolutely see that. Also, when you're making fries or something at home and you use the, uh, what's that called? Like we call it the Asia sauce, you know? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. A long, long time ago, I I dipped my fries into milkshake. That was weird. I Isn't there a song like that? Milkshake with fries or something? <laughs> I don't know. I just know... Uh... I need a double cheeseburger and hold the letters. <laughs> 24 and sun, no seats on the bumblebee. Up in this drive through double, order double for two. Out. Don't forget the fries. Long walk with the lead. Northern Isles. Oh, here it is. Wait. McDonald's suggested dunking fries in milkshake and people went crazy. <laughs> That's the news on cosmopolitan.com. Damn, Remo reading the Cosmo. That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Neo, are you oh. listening to Ska Punk like the Interrupters? Hell yeah. Love Mad Caddies. Love Ska P. Interrupters are really good. Love Less Than Jake. Love Ska Punk. And we love Warcraft. Yeah. Demon Hunter versus... The, 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 the DK, I imagine. Yes. And uh, yeah, once again. Or not once again. We saw the happy build opening before, right? And here we see the ghoul opening. I like that a lot by one. Maybe I have to adjust that as well. Because, Neo, because on this map, Northern Isles, for Night Elf, either the Night Elf goes for the Tuskar creep route, which is Tuskar into triple green for level three, which is basically impossible to prevent. Or he goes for the smaller creep camp first, green, and then goes, uh, what is it? Green, green into natural, and there gets level three. And if he does that, then you can only really punish it if you play ghouls. So I think the ghoul opening is just probably better on this map, now that I think about it. And we saw one destroying opponents with ghouls on this map. Who was it again he played against? Earlier today, uh, it was the round of 32 or something. God damn it, who was it? It was a player that we knew. A player's forces are under God, attack. our brains need help. Nah, nah, we're very smart now, don't worry. <laughs> blast? Yeah, it was Blast. Ah, yeah, it was Blast. God damn. The lipstick DK. Beautiful. Did a wisp come in here for a detonate, by the way? Yes. I got killed. Alright, so as you can see here, long walk, he's just creeping, not trying to be aggressive. And if you go, as I said, for this green camp starting creep route, you go triple green and then you need the natural as well. Juan is scouting over there already and will absolutely want to punish that with... Which, with ghouls, he should be able to. Oh. Okay, the demon has to first creep this camp and then go back. Places a sentry. Items for the demon. Ring and cloak. Ring is actually really good. Despite what some people might say. The cloak. Meh. Yeah, for him, really not that great. 
all goes for the circlet over the boots. <sighs> Don't know if I can give a seal of approval for that. Uh, Arimo starts fuming. Okay, Demon Hunter about to burn now. Oh, is it happening again? Is it happening again? Stops for the mana burn. Probably mistake. That's what you get for not buying boots, bro. Can't do that against one. Oh, detonate. Detonate. Oh, oh man, oh, this is so Still got him. Still got him. Goddamn one. Wasn't that a little bit long walk's fault, though? He moved into that, like, rocky position. Dude, come on. Come on. One deserves all the props here. And it's mostly Longwalk's long fault because he didn't buy boots. That's the biggest one. I'm not joking. I'm serious. You always are. <sighs> Why so serious? Oh, are these God four ghouls around? Four ghouls around. Bro. This is so sick. Like, how is... Is that another surround? You have to be Sports. kidding me, bro. This is just unfair! He's so insane, bro. So insane. Insane. And that's what I mean. Um, Long Walk wanted to go for the natural creep there, but it's prevented. It's punished by the ghouls. Of course, normally you don't get five surrounds in a row, but this <laughs> is one. So It's just flawless. Like, these surrounds are just flawless. Naga second. Naga. And again, this is good and strong because the demon is in level 3. And doesn't have boots. I think as Night Elf, unless you're sure the Undead is playing happy opening, you should go for the two scout creep. Get the level 3. Another archer down, thanks to a great block. Dude, this could be an unholy frenzy game, by the way. Oh yeah, we saw it before. He rushes tier three. What did he queue? Slaughterhouse first. You need the statues first. Yeah. Against Blast, he built both at the same time. Let's go, let's do it, dude. Unholy Frenzy, Lichen Naga. Dude, imagine if Unholy Frenzy also increased movement speed. Then it would be sick. <laughs> yeah, that's what undeads need. More movement speed. Yeah! Race car! Well, if you play Dreadlord, then it would help a lot, actually. Oh, plus plus nine stolen. This is going to cost at least one ghoul here. Probably two. Oh, block from the DK, though. Only one ghoul lost for a claw. So absolutely worth it. Fascinating how two months after Reforge release, the portrait of the female DK is still more exciting for chat than one surrounds. <laughs> Temple of the Damned, bro! It's, it's coming! It's happening! Frenzy! Unholy Frenzy. Unholy Frenzy, boys. We discovered two days ago this strat by TBC. We thought it was a troll. But Juan says he actually likes it against Demon. Just right click him down. With the ranged heroes and unholy frenzy. Yeah, yeah. TBC destroyed Remind. Oh, oh, was it Remind? Yes. Yeah, it was Remind. And since then, it's absolutely a thing. One is really low lumber, though. Dude, I don't even know how much lumber <laughs> Necro Adept training is. It doesn't, definitely doesn't have enough for all. He wants Lich, he wants Frenzy, and he wants Adept. Yeah. Frenzy is 150 number. Or is it 125? Something like that. Feels yeah. like this time it could need some work indeed, but uh, then it could be very strong. Necro training queued. And the thing about Necros is their training and also their production speed is super fast. Su -su -su super fast. But yeah, <laughs> once elite's Frenzy. Getting the invul here and the one invul on the map is also a big deal. Naga level 2, lots of right click items. Level 3 DK. Oh, he didn't buy the invul. Oh, does he now? No, he's too afraid to go back to the shop because he sees the dryads coming in. Level 2, fork lightning is ready. 
yeah, Demon is... found a big invul at the Tuscar. That's a big deal. Ghoul Frenzy, Unholy Frenzy, all that Frenzy. Frenzy Strat! <laughs> is there more Frenzies in the game than Unholy and Ghoul? I don't think so. Dude, I don't even know how much mana Unholy Frenzy is. And I've been undead for a long, long time. You never play Necro. Well, that was the case until the side brought them in. Then TBC brought them in, and now one plays them as well. We are at a state of Warcraft 3 where Necros are actually playable. Yeah. That, that was never the case ever, ever. That's pretty cool. Oh boy. It says Longlock has 50 supply. This does not look like 50 supply. No. Boom, that oh, bear. The bear. That's four supply right there. Yeah, Riju is pretty good. Just Summon, call it, bro. Summon skeletons. Maybe it's still an auto cast. Focus on the Naga right away. There's Riju once again, though. Unholy Frenzy once. Oh, and the Scroll of the Beast coming in as well. It's a lot of right click damage. Too much for the Naga to survive. He tried to pass the invul, I think, last second. Didn't quite work out, though. But the Frenzy is dispelled and the Necro is taken out. But the Frenzy Ghouls are also doing damage, not just the Unholy Frenzy. <laughs> and suddenly Long Rock lost a lot of supply. One looking for another surround. Does he get it? What of a question is that? Stop asking this. It's nonsense. The answer is always yes. Now, I want to point it out in such a way, though, because they're all not that easy. And Juan lands them every single time? Does he have it? Trying to surround from the bear. Not sure if he wants to open it up there. Ghoul die. Oh, the bears. Both so hurt. Kind of all all three so hurt. Not much moon juice left. Only a single moon well. Level three Naga. Fog lightning. Booyah! Here comes the zap. Here comes the level two. Frost armor now. Demon Dude, close this is to such four. a freaking... This is like a shotgun kind of strategy. It just obliterates everything around it. <laughs> Mass... Ne next... Necro is coming in. Frenzy is back. Oh yeah, it's 50. It's like 50 mana, apparently. Yeah. Like See, I was right for once. Oh, yeah, just... helped by the Dryads. Hey, we so... Uh, this attack speed is so sick, though. Ooh, last second step. But this Naga, what to do Naga. with this Naga? It's just it's melting. Oh, he doesn't have Frost Armor, he has Dark Ritual to go for more Nova, and that's the Demon Dead. GG. Seriously, Necro's new meta. <laughs> that's I, not a meme. I guess, like, do you need a great early game like this? Because Wan owns the early game on Northern Isles. Getting all these surrounds putting so much pressure on his opponent and then he can pretty much do whatever he wants for some time that is like Juan's games on Northern today are unbelievable so crazy. Sick. <sighs> and yeah fr like the frenzy deeps are Naga and Lich with frenzy Both games really good. So now, who's gonna end up in the grand final? Twenty-five dollar prize money guaranteed. Then a key part of this strategy is preventing demon level three and getting a few archer kills. If you don't manage to get that, then the armies are perhaps a little too big, and perhaps your Naga and Lich impact with Unholy Frenzy isn't as good. So perhaps you have to rely on surrounding a few things in the early to make that work. But one, it's, it's like he has a surround hack. You know how you have to precisely click on the unit to surround it? It feels like one's mouse is always on, yeah. on top of it. It feels like he has an aimbot that just, he's always yeah. clicking correctly. Seems like Remo is blurry constantly. Maybe the Discord servers are too busy as like everyone is of course home. Saturday evening. Lot of people will use Discord. We have to live with it now. It's not that bad. 
as long as we can hear him. Dude, dude, dude. Yeah. And dude, that's dude, dude. only the first semi-final. We have yeah, one more. If you more. play against one or another, I was Tuscar creep, boys. Tuscar creep. You yeah, have to get it. ready for it, for sure. Map three. Decider. Who makes it <sighs> to the final? What build is Juan gonna play? He played two different strats. It was the happy style on map one, and the ghoul opening into unholy frenzy. The frenzy strat, basically. So what's it it's a ghoul opening again. Mm, sweet, on CH. For both of them, pretty cool to have this uh semi-final run, the top four run. But of course now they want more. Now they want the grand final. And Longo, will he stick to the Demon Hunter? Pretty sure he is. Friends, <laughs> dude. That sounded like a very famous song by Zido. What? That sounds very different. <laughs> Lord Helmy, thank you for the one euro. One cent for every pixel on the Remo cam. Hunter, Death Knight, and the ghoul opening. How many people are playing this frenzy strat? I wonder. We know of two for now. Who came up with this? I haven't seen one to zero do it. Who's normally the innovator? WFZ sometimes is, but I haven't seen him do that either. Uh. This, look, this looks like a thing that Side does, but I guess uh, it's not really an inspiration for the Chinese scene. A player's forces are under attack. Yet. Really cool. Very fun strat. Acolyte still alive here for a little bit longer. Oh, but not so much longer. Swipe! Got him. Man, I'm so excited for these surrounds again. It's bound to happen, isn't it? It's rare not to happen in a round game. That's certainly true. Text coming out pretty much precisely at the same time, which is really important in this matchup because the Naga arrival time is crucial. Thank you, Malax. Five euro donation. So Remo can go from 160 to full HD. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Thank you. Juan being aggressive here with a level one DK. Could use the ghouls to send towards the green to get his level up. Seems like that's precisely his plan. And again, it's about slowing down the demon's progress. This is... Along with LR, I guess, the hardest level 3 demon map. Longwalk, is he gonna attempt the merchant creep? With 3 to 4 archers, that should be not too hard to do. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like he wants to snipe the overseer from the natural. Wow. I have. don't think I've seen this before. No, Longwalk was already pretty great with creeping like this on Last Refuge. Think back to the Overlord. Maybe that's this new thing. Wisp to block. And this is such an unusual position. It's nighttime now, so there's not much vision range. And the skeleton for one is scouting at the merchant. That is the most likely spot, but he can't find him there, so... Ah, uh, messes up the I block. Like we'll need to commit a little bit of HP to it. 
Yeah, there you go. Lots of mana items for for him. Yeah, and one trading experience here. I'm not sure that this is the best call. This prevented level three demon made a big difference in the mid game on map two. Oh, one ghoul dead. Yeah, when the ghouls are slowed, they automatically trigger aggro. So when you send them back, you need to A-click a building in your main, so that they're constantly de-aggroed. Seems like uh, I need to send some PMs to one, so he learns this as well. <laughs> <laughs> I only learned this recently from Side. He told oh. me that when you're slowed, when units are slowed, they are auto-aggroed. Didn't know that either. Red spot. And again, one is ready to punch. Oh, long walk. Does he have the time? Oh, there's a big ghoul flood coming in from the high ground. And that's a lot of archers exposed right here. Don't even need this around. The sheer A click damage is enough. Claws of attack plus 12, uh, plus 12 drops the circle to be able to get it. Oh man, that's a lot of damage. Two ghouls dying for one archer? Is that the end of the story? Naga now? I guess it is. Demon is level 3. But without boots, he's not that scary. So the Naga for one just walks back. Oh, the slaughterhouse though. If this gets cancelled, this would be a big deal. Not committing to it. Lord, more ghouls. A lot of food production, long work with an expansion. And... Temple of the Damned, oh yeah. No way, Frenzy again. <laughs> Un <laughs> the holy trap. Frenzy again. I saw some people in chat like, yeah, Frenzy Ghouls is pretty old school. Yep, we know that, but it's about Unholy Frenzy, which is never seen. Except now. One more Archer dies. The number is dwindling quite a bit here. Oh. Is he aiming for the surround or is he aiming for the archers? Looks like it's archers. archers. Wants more experience to, to get the fork. One more ghoul is going to be lost. It's quite a few ghouls going down for one. I think that yeah. brings it up to five now. Yeah, long walk. Also, time for an expansion. 50%. Forces are under attack. And... Yeah, Necrotech is very fast, but you still need it. And Lich yep. and everything. And he's going mass riots. I like that. I think the bears against the strategy really don't do too much because Juan will just run past the bears and go for either heroes or archers, whatever's standing in the back. So the bears... Bears are only really good DPS if they can just stand there and hit away. A town is under Which they probably can't against the strategy. But these school losses hurt one. He felt forced to remake more, delaying his lich. A Third hero only starting now. Feels quite late. And the red camp creep for long walk. This is a ton of experience over here. Alright, roll with the magi. Again, mana items. <laughs> Demon Hunter is quite hurt, but I think he knows that one is on the other side, so that should be fine. Waiting for Lich and the Necros. This is this is not like my head is not ready for the Necros. This will take some time. <laughs> but against mass dryads, how effective can it really be? Isn't he just gonna just yeah. it over Yeah. Maybe that's the answer. Don't go bears. Just spam dryads. With an expo. A I like the adjustment here by attack. Longmark. Frenzy Ghouls ready. Lich as well. With an orb. Feels like 
Qua needs more time. He has level 3, 2, 1. So every second that he's not attacking is in the second for long walks echo. 51 supply now. Yeah, with Dryads you can shoot up in supply really quickly. Not that expensive on gold, rather on lumber. Destroyer form upgrade for one now. Against Dryads as well. Silly mask, nice. Almost level 4 for the DK, almost level 2 for the Lich, almost level 3 for the Naga. So many hero level ups around the corner for one. But long walk as well, level 4 demon. Level 3, Naga. Stalked all the way, armed to the teeth with items. And enough energy and so we mask. That's pretty neat. We're waiting for the big storm to come. Counter expo. Yeah. More necro. Thing is, these are not hero levels, like the nuke. It doesn't do anything against the riots. Can only work against the heroes. Yeah, but like right clicks of Naga and Lich is gonna be sick. Not bad, but I don't expect Unholy Frenzy to have much uptime. Lich is plus 19 though. Naga is really good as well. Here we go for Lightning. Takes almost like three ghouls up, but Heal Scroll is ready to save it. Nova and... Okay, here's Frenzy. How quick are the dispels? Bad damn quick! Alright. Going for the Demon Hunter now, but he's so tanky. Eats the focus. But guess what? There was a heal potion. That was only the first one. He's got another one. And these dryads are devouring the ghouls. Oh, but the demon dies! Yep. There was a staff ready for him! It was a TP. But Longwalk didn't use it! And Frenzy again. Dispel again. But how long can you do this? The Naga Lich combo is really good! DK has to be... Ooh, invo potion on the, on the Naga. DK forced into a TP soon! There we go. More kills oh though. God. One more. Oh, what a game. Haunted is finished. This egg life will and die. And for long walk is too low. She can't return into the fight. Yep. And now Wan can transition into fiends. Ah, oh, he's not doing it. He's going. He's going, going with ghouls. Little stubborn. Also necros again. Look at the corpses here. My God. Oh, that hero lost long walk. If he doesn't lose the demon right there, I think he wins this game. Yeah. He's back from the tavern. Very expensive. Blocked by one again. Taking out another dryad. One at 34 supply. Long walk at 47. Both lost a lot. If one can set up two towers at the expansion, it's so hard to break that with dryads. But, of course, expensive. Long walk still has a timing window. But if he doesn't hit big with the next attack, it's going to be tough for him. Here we go, hero focus once more, but man, it's raining spears on this DK. There's no TP anymore. Frenzy on the two important heroes, the damage dealers. This, but it's dispelled. It's just too easy to dispel. Demon is forced back again, but that was the only invul for Wan. Oh, Perhaps also the in only invul for Long Walk, though. Level 3 Lich. Yeah, Dryad's feed experience. Like that one. There's another one down. Oof! Dude, this game! Dude, this game! But the demon is back. Pummeling the DK. No TP My still. No potion. Nothing! Level 2 aura. Gets him away. This ziggurat finishing would be a really big deal. It won't. Will it? It shouldn't. They can't. No. Or... I'm trying to distract from it. Uh, close. No cigar. Block against the demon. Double heal pot. Uses one right there. Damn, dude, this is still so close. One not using frenzy anymore. What purpose do these necros have? 
Meep. Oh, let's very far forward getting blocked! Wow! Oh, that was 0 HP! 0 0.5! Focus continues. This DH is sick. Here comes the block by Long Walk. Another Koibo. That was the last one. The ledge might be dead though. Can he make it to the shop? Fog Lightning! Oh, the ledge uh, is dead! And that is the Orb of Corruption. And with that, the Dryads endure a lot more. Needs him back, but he's so broke. Long walk, does he have enough in the tank here to push this down? So many dryads now. One one upgraded. A bomb comes in! Finally, but no disease cloud. Not even no disease research. cloud. And what does that really do? Not much. Two fiends dying. This is one about to be eliminated. That's the end of this long walk indeed! And the American makes it all the way to the finals against either Sonic or Todd. Damn! Haven't seen such a strong long walk in a long, long, long time. I guess game three was kind of uh, a death win, maybe, somehow, because he found the answer with Mass Dryads to that strategy and Juan didn't uh, change anything, didn't switch into Fiends or something. But boy, that was great. That was real yeah. great. If Juan had been more aggressive on level two though, then this expansion probably can't be crap. Then the Night of is stuck on one base. And on one base, Mass Riots normally doesn't work out. So it doesn't necessarily mean that this strat can just purely be hard countered. This strat absolutely deserves more experimentation. All right, we go into semi-final number two, but a little break. This is a long, 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 long day for us. We're casting since 12, so 10 hours cracked now. Uh, feel free to check out exclamation mark weekly our match Reno for the Back to Warcraft Weekly Cups. Also, all the socials, all the ways to support us in the stream description. Going to be back in four minutes with Todd versus Davai Davai Sonic.